Hey, I'm back. I know I've been gone for a while, but I just want to say I was very busy and I just didn't get the chance to sit down and record one of these. But today, I'm finally here. I'm going to start off by deleting the default cube and adding a new cylinder. I'm going to scale this up on the Z axis and scale it up on all axes. And I'm going to add two loop cuts in the middle and scale these up on the Z axis as well. I'm then going to grab this top face, extrude it upwards, and bring it up on the Z axis. I'm going to add a couple loop cuts up here. It doesn't really matter how many, just choose a random number. And I'm going to pick these in between loop cuts. Now, as you can see here, I have one extra up here that I don't want to extrude. So I'm going to select this face and extrude it upwards to create another uh, loop of faces. I'm then going to grab these faces again and extrude them outwards. This will be this little top area of our lightsaber. Extrude this up one more time and I will extrude this one more than the others. Then I will grab this face and just extrude it downwards. We now have the upper part of our lightsaber. Let's work on the middle now. I'm going to grab this loop of faces and scale them down. I'm going to make another loop cut here in the middle, grab these faces, and inset them, and then scale them along normals. I'm going to go into wireframe mode, grab all these faces, and bring them down a little bit more. And then I'm going to grab this edge loop and move it down along with the rest of these faces. I'm then going to go into wireframe mode and use camera view 1 on your keyboard and select a group of 4 faces. And I'm going to use camera view 3 and do the same. Once I have these faces selected, I'm going to extrude them inwards with Alt E. This will give our this will give the bottom of our lightsaber a nice design. I'm also going to select this bottom face and extrude it downwards for a little bit more depth. Now that we have our bottom of our lightsaber complete, let's add some more detail to our handle. I'm going to add several loop cuts here. As you can see, most of this tutorial is just loop cuts and extruding. I'm going to grab a couple of these loop faces and extrude them inwards, just a little bit. And I think that's pretty good. Maybe we could add one more loop right here. Now it's time for the actual saber. I'm going to make a cylinder, scale it down, and scale it up. I'm going to move it up towards the top of our lightsaber. Maybe scale it up a little bit more and scale it up on the z-axis. Make it taller. Now for the top of our lightsaber, I'm going to select this top face and inset it using I. I'm then going to bring it up on the z-axis and bevel it using Control b Make sure to add more faces using your mouse wheel when beveling. I'm also going to select this edge loop and bevel it as well. Now we have the top of our lightsaber. The material for the lightsaber is very simple. Create a new material and delete your principal BSDF. Then add an emission node and plug it into surface. You can pick any color in this color wheel. I'm going to go with the light yellow. Increase the strength and go to your render settings and turn on bloom. You can look at it in render view and change your settings as you wish. I'm going to make mine a little bit more orange. Now it's time for the actual lightsaber hilt. Going back into material preview, I'm going to add a couple new materials. This first one will be the main color of the lightsaber. I'm going to call it silver. For this one, I'll just make it white, metallic, and slightly reduce the roughness. I'm then going to shade smooth go into object data properties and turn on auto smooth. I'm going to have some gold accents on my lightsaber. So I'm going to create a new material, call it gold and make it orange. Then I'm going to increase the metallic. I'm going to reduce the roughness a little bit and then add it to specific parts of my lightsaber. specific material to certain faces, go over to the materials properties tab and press assign. I'm going to make 
one last material to offset the gold. I'm gonna make this one a little bit darker gray, make it metallic, and lower the roughness. Now to make our lightsaber a little bit more realistic, we can add some weathering effects. To do this, I'm going to go into our silver material and create a musgrave texture. I'm going to plug this in to a color ramp and then connect this to our roughness. At first, it's going to look weird, so you're going to want to look in preview to see what it actually looks like. I'm going to decrease the scale a lot, increase the detail, and decrease this value. Continue to mess with this until you get a nice weathering effect in this preview area. You can still mess around with some of these values if you don't think it looks right. You don't have to copy me exactly. You can make a couple changes if you feel like it should look different. We're then gonna copy these two and put them in other materials as well. Now we won't be able to see any of this detail without an area light, so let's go ahead and create one. more settings here in the EV render settings. Now for me personally this lightsaber is looking a little bit too glossy so I'm going to change a couple more settings in the material textures. Now if you want to animate your lightsaber like this make sure to stick around for my next video. Until then see you in the next one.